Hi everyone, I'm Haley. I'm a resident physician now. I just graduated from medical school a few weeks ago. And in this video, I want to share how I review practice questions for my board exams. So when I posted my last YouTube video, it sounded like a lot of people were struggling. I was in that same boat when I was preparing for boards. Um, I did not use this method for step one or complex one. I did use it for step two, complex two. And I feel like maybe that's why my score increased quite a bit. I can't be sure, but I, I feel like it definitely contributed. Remember, everyone does something different. So make sure you do what works for you, uh, especially when you're you know preparing for these board exams. I mainly used UWorld for like my dedicated time. Their practice questions are really great. They have great explanations. Um, what a lot of people use on UWorld is like the flashcard feature that they have. So you can highlight whatever, you know, information you want on this flashcard and it will save it into the UWorld system for you. I tried that for step one in Complex One and it just didn't work for me. I just wasn't figuring out like why I was getting these questions wrong. I wasn't learning from them. I was, you know, just doing flashcards it seemed like and trying to memorize parts of the question. Uh, you can also use Anki. I think Anki has some practice questions in the deck, uh, but kind of the same thing. You, I, I just wasn't really learning it, but that's just what some people do. I, you know, found this method that worked for me and I stuck with it because it was working. Uh, so basically what I did, I would have a, the UWorld question block that I had and then a blank Google document. And I would make notes on all the questions I got wrong or the questions that I got correct, but I wasn't sure why I got them right. You know, I made an educated guess or convinced myself that was the answer. Um, so I'd make notes on these questions. Now, UWorld has really great explanations and they're very long. So I would not retype that whole thing at all. I would just make bullet points. I already read the explanation on why you know, I got it wrong. So I just needed a way to remember this information. So I would make little bullet points on this Google document um, and try to find a way to remember this information, whether it was a mnemonic or just, I don't know, some sort of note or whatever. So that's what I would do. UWorld does not let you copy and paste also. So you can't copy and paste and put in this document. Uh, I guess you could screenshot it. I think that's something you can do, but I don't recommend screenshotting all this information and putting it over there onto a Google document. Uh, one, I guess you're gonna have to read through this screenshot every time, but also the Google document is nice because you can do like, you know, control effort, like find the information you're looking for. So you're able to search the document quickly. So I recommend typing it and paraphrasing it in your own words. You're, you're gonna remember it better that way if you can, you know, type it up yourself. So at the end of it, I'd have a long document. I think it was close to 70 pages towards like the time of my exam. I would review this every day. So, you know, if I was laying in bed, getting ready for bed, I would just kind of read through it quickly. Uh, when I was on the treadmill at the gym or on the bike at the gym, I would also like read it on my, on my phone because I have the app. So that was really nice. I reviewed it every day and just kind of would quiz myself. I don't know why this worked for me, but it did. Like, oh, I, I need to remember this and this and this mnemonic um, because they were similar questions or topics I continued to get wrong. And this method worked and I saw an increase in my scores and my overall UWorld percentage after this. So I guess it, it just helped me and it worked. Uh, they were not long explanations, just bullet points. Um, try to put a picture up of them. Uh, just things to remember that I kept seeing and noticed like I kept mixing things up or getting it wrong So just keep that in mind um, if you do this method, but that's how I read my practice questions I hope that helped um, best of luck on test day. You guys will do great So if you have any questions or any topics you want me to you know, Go over on YouTube or Instagram or whatever. Please let me know in the comments below if you like this video like it and subscribe to my channel for more uh, again, good luck and thank you for watching. Bye.